guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's look for under $20. So it was quite a challenge, but I wanted to make sure I got products that you'll use beyond Valentine's Day. And most importantly, I wanted a look that would last all day. Because let's face it, if you're going out on a date with your boyfriend, and Valentine's is kind of that day where things are going to get hot and steamy, so you want to make sure your makeup lasts the whole day. So um, let's get right to so I'm going to be starting off with the Cover Off Foundation from Wet n Wild. And this is a full coverage foundation that's supposed to let your skin be really breathable and also um, allow your look to um, not really melt. So it's going to look shine free. It's not necessarily matte, but it's shine free. So you won't be looking really blotchy throughout the day. So I've already tried out this foundation. And I found it to really last around 9 hours, which is perfect for the amount of time because although a date might not last 9 hours, there's like the after hours of Valentine's Day. So um, I definitely wanted to make sure that this look will stay sturdy on my skin. So just apply, and I'm applying this with the e.l.f. powder brush, which you can pick up um, for around $3. You can either get it on the website or you can also pick it up at like Target or other local restores tail stores and you can actually search on the e.l.f. website to find like the closest location to really find the, find, um, the products that you need. So next I'm going to just make sure to blot off any excess um, foundation that might be left on my brush because I don't want any moisture to be left on the brush. So then I'm going to be taking my Cover All Press Powder. This is also from Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Medium as well as the foundation was. And this is a wonderful um, powder because it's very very um, finely milled so it really glides over your foundation and really sets it perfectly. So you want to just brush this right on and really blend it down along your neck to really let the color be the perfect to match. Okay. So now, I'm going to be taking um, the e.l.f. Eye Primer. Now, I know a lot of people aren't very big fans of this. It sells, I believe, for a dollar off of the e.l.f. website. It doesn't, um, a lot of people don't like it, but what really is the key to this primer is letting it set for a minute um, so it really absorbs into your skin and acts as the perfect primer. Um, and that way, it will really last all day. So, that's what I recommend doing. Next, I'm going to be showing you the colors that I got. They're really, really gorgeous. It's called I'm Getting Sunburned, and it's one of the color icon trios from Wet n Wild. So Wet n Wild has um, really great products. So that's pretty much why I decided to use so many of them in this video. And also, they fit our um, budget. So I'm just going to swatch these colors for you quickly because they're so gorgeous. So you have the eyebrow, eyebrow, or... No, I'm sorry, brow bone color on top. That's that pretty champagne-y pink. You have the crease color right there. Um, it's really pretty brown and has these flexes of brown and kind of a wine color that really allowed for the pink color and the gold color to go perfectly with this look. So this is a really well thought out palette because it just looks amazing all three together. And then you have this classic golden brown color on the bottom. So really gorgeous colors and they just work so well together. So, and also I love the fact that you're incorporating the pink for Valentine's Day, there's nothing better than that. Um, so, I'm gonna start off with the brow bone color, and for today's look, we're actually not going to be using it on the brow bone, but across the lid. So, um, I'm gonna take that color, and I'm using my finger because I was going to use a brush, but I think for the this um, really light color, it just looks so pretty when you delicately press it onto your eyelid. And I recommend using your index finger for this part, I mean my, your ring finger, because it applies the least amount of pressure. So it might take some getting used to, but it's definitely worth the outcome because after you get used to it, you'll never apply um, any eyeshadow like and have streaks or anything. It's going to go on really flawlessly because you're applying the least amount of pressure. And with such delicate skin, like your eye area, it really is really important. So then I'm going to be taking my brush now, and this is the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. And you can pick this up for a dollar as well. 
Um, you know, I had a lot of debate between what brushes to use because there are a lot of affordable options. But I wanted to make sure that it was one that had um, really good quality to it. So I decided on this brush because I feel like you can, it's kind of multi-purpose. You can use it for your eyeshadow um, on the lid and also along the crease. Um, but it's also really good quality and the brushes don't hurt or anything like that. It's just really awesome. So now I'm taking this golden color and I'm placing it on the outer half of my eye. So not really as a crease color, but in the outer half and into the crease. And you really want to make sure you blend it with that really pretty pink color to create a nice gradient. So that's why I'm kind of bringing it in on the top. So next we're going to take the crease color. And I want to warn you guys, you really want to use very little of this color. Um, just one tap and you want to brush off any excess because it is a very, very pigmented color. Which is great because it will last forever. But um, it also means that you need to really be careful when applying because it does go a very, very long way. So I'm just putting that right into the crease. And what I like to do first is first just put it into the crease where I would like it. Then I like blending it halfway and then matching it on each side and then fully blending it. And that really makes sure that you have the perfect look on each side and that it looks really, um, they're really twins. So, you know, um, they look good. Um, <laughs> you're going to then blend that color outward and upward. And I know that many of you might be like, oh, you don't have any brow bone color. We're going to add that later, and I'll show you why. Just because we want to make sure that that pink pops because it is such a pretty color, especially for Valentine's Day. So we're going to leave it to the last. So just blend that upward. Really using those wind wiper motions. <clears throat> and you don't need to be very... Um, dark and devious with this look. We want to keep it light and fresh because it is, you know, you're in a celebrate, celebrating mode. So I'm going to next just highlight that brow bone very, very lightly. As you can tell, just pretty much using whatever color was left on my finger from earlier. And then I'm going to be once again highlighting just the inner corner with my finger. <laughs> Don't mind my eye sounds. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to be going in with the NYC High, Defici High Definition Liquid Liner Pen. And this I got from, um, I believe, CVS for $2 or $1.99. So it looks like that. And it actually creates really nice lines. If you can tell right there, it's really black and it really will last all day. It really seeps into the skin and allows you to create a flawless look. So I'm really a fan of this because... Um, I haven't found one from the drugstore that really um, is able to compare price-wise and quality-wise. Because these pens are kind of tricky. They're either a hit or miss. Like, I really love my Kat Von D one. But also, it's a little too, um, has almost like a patent leather look that I don't like. So, these are really difficult to choose. So, I kind of chose it for you guys because I know it looks good. <laughs> okay. You're going to line your eyes, and I'm not going to wing this because we want it to be um, not too dramatic. Like, the black isn't dramatic enough. We don't need to put a wing and cat eye it all up, so we're just going to leave it like that. Unless you want to. Yeah, I guess if you want to. So you want to go take your time with this, especially if you have difficulty doing your liner. Take your time. You really want your whole makeup look to look perfect this day. So. I like going from the outer end to the inner end. Um, that really creates a flawless look for me. But whatever you like to do. If you're used to one way, stick to it for this day because you don't want to be experimenting on Valentine's Day. Um, you want to make sure you look pretty. So, next I'm going to be taking my Ultra Flush, the gold standard, and this is like the travel size mascara, and I actually purchased this for $1.99 at the cosmetic market in New York.
Oh, I mean 149, 149, so even better. <laughs> so this is a really great mascara because it um, really reaches each lash and you can use it both on your upper lid and your lower lid. So it will really make those lashes stand out and look great. And I think the best day to make sure you have an amazing mascara is Valentine's Day because, you know, it's like a nice romantic day. You want to make sure you look super pretty. So however you like to apply mascara, I kind of like going in these strokes and then wiggling it around so you kind of get those nice, um, flawless, long lashes. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other eye. And for this Valentine's Day look, I definitely want to do two coats because I want it to. So no other day I feel like is more important than um, Valentine's Day to make sure your cheeks look nice and flushed with color. So I'm going to be taking that brow bone color again and it's just really pretty as a highlighter because it has that pretty nice pink color but it also acts really well to reflect the light off your cheeks and give you that natural beautiful glow. So I'm going to be placing that um, right along my cheeks, my upper cheek area. You can already tell it just makes it really shine, give you that pretty shimmer. You can put it below your nose, just like that. You really want to highlight those areas as much as possible. Okay, and next I'm going to be taking my lipstick, which is from Wet n Wild, and I'm going to be using this for two things. I'm going to be using it for lipstick, but also I'm going to be using it as my cheek color. So really making the most of the products that I have to keep under budget. So, I'm going to be placing this in small dabs along my cheek. And what's great about this color is that it's so vibrant, so a little goes a long way. So it's not like you're going to make your lipstick into like a little stump by um, needing to use this as cheek color. Then I'm going to blend this downward and upward, kind of giving a nice contour to my face because I'm still giving that upward motion so it looks really pretty. And as you can tell, that looks so gorgeous and flushed. It's almost effortless. And if you'd like, you can set this afterwards with a powder as well. Or you can do this ahead of time so it's under your powder already. So I'm just going to set it with a little bit of powder actually right now. Then I'm going to use this lip color. And this is actually um, Wet n Wild and it's um, called, I believe, Dollhouse Pink. And it retails for, I believe, like $1.99 or $1.19, one of those. I'll make sure to have all the prices in the bottom bar. So if you're wondering about what the price was, what the final markup was, I'm definitely going to announce the final markup at the end of the video. But if you um, want to know the prices of specific items, it's going to be all in the down, down bar. Look for that, um, look for any information on what specifically the name of each product is because I'll definitely have that all up, okay? So, just going to use this on my lips. And what I love about these lipsticks is that they're really heavy duty, so um, you can kiss someone and yeah, I might rub off a little on them, but more importantly, it's going to give you a nice stain kind of, even though it doesn't claim to be a stain, it definitely um, lasts and gives you that color. So if you're like making out OD, you'll still have like some kind of tint to your lips. And I love this one because it's almost like highlighter pink. And I love it. And then I'm going to just dab this off once with a piece of um, toilet paper. even that out. Yep. And that's your final look. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.